Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Design Tech. And in today's episode, we are going to be diving into RF tools, going to a different dimension, and hopefully capturing ourselves a blizz. That is the goal. That is the goal, because I have been horribly unlucky with my spawns, uh, with my uh, terrain generation, I should say. We have explored all of this and have not found a single biome that blizzes would spawn in so we are going to make our own that's the plan anyway so let's take a look at rf tools at rf tools there we go so there's a few things we need i've already made the dimlet researcher and we've got a bunch of these machine frames now we are going to need a matter transmitter as well as a matter receiver and then we're going to need a dimension builder a dimension inscriber and that might be it rf monitor liquid crafter power relay item filter dimlet filter storage scanner i oh and the dialing device i knew there was something else i knew there was at least a couple other things uh, and we should probably make a destination analyzer and a matter booster as well. Okay, so, uh, and let's also grab this stuff because we'll probably need it. And then let's go ahead and grab some energy conduits too because I'll probably want those as well. Um, there we go. Let's just grab a few of those. And that should be good. I think that's everything we need. Okay, so we're gonna set up our RF tools stuff down here. Let me dive into the dimension manual and do some reading, and I'll come back to you in a minute. Alright guys, I am back. So, the first thing we need to do is create our dimlet. So, we're gonna put down a dimension inscriber right here, and we'll throw this guy into here, and then we will add this dimlet. And this is a Ice Plains Dimlet, so this should be somewhere where, blizz, uh, where blizzes would definitely spawn. And we will hit Store, and then this guy will essentially be a biome. Then that's what we'll have in the place, which is good. Then we need to make a Dimension Builder, so let's put that here. You can see that thing charging up. This guy doesn't actually require RF, it appears. I thought it did, but I guess not. This one does. This requires a lot of RF because you can get into some pretty ridiculous dimensions like Enderium liquid uh, rivers and all sorts of craziness. But this one, eh, not really needed. Uh, this is a relatively simple dimension. So we'll take this guy. Dimension is ready. Then we need a dialing device, which I'm going to put right here. We'll put a matter transmitter and a matter receiver right here. This one will fill up with power. We're gonna have to kind of come under here and do something like that. There we go. Let's just put this stuff back. So that is all good. And then I need, where did I put my dialing device? Oh, right here. There we go. So, uh, and then a matter booster, which I think actually has to be next to, um, maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so Dimension Builder, let's throw this guy in here, and let's hide this, redstone signal ignored, okay, that's all good. This thing is ID2. Um, I'm guessing that's what this would be. Is this... Oh, name. ID2. Got it. Okay. So, let's do this. Dial. And then we need power and lots of it. So, let's grab a matter booster and put that right here. This is our transmitter. Uh, and let's name this home. 
and public use this name to identify this transmitter in the dialer and can I add it am I doing something wrong oh here we go home and home maybe maybe not I don't know I feel like I'm doing something wrong let me go back to reading the manual all right guys I'm back I figured out what the problem is I forgot to actually connect the power lines to the thing. How embarrassing is that? Terrible. I also went ahead and made myself a matter transmitter so that I don't get, uh, you know, stuck in a different dimension, because that would be bad. So this is home. Here's the dial. We'll go ahead and dial that guy. Home. Home. Okay. I think we're good. I do have safari nets. All right. Let's go for it. We're going to teleport, and this should take us into an ice plains biome, I think. I hope. Cross your fingers, guys. Oh, it totally worked. It totally worked. This is terrible terrain, though. But it's okay, because we should be able to find a blizz around here somewhere. Let's just mark this. Uh, J. We'll say... Tele... Teleporter. Save. Close. Okay. So, let's head off and see if we can find ourselves a blizz. Hello! There's one right there. Got it. Awesome. Okay. Now it is time to leave. That's all we actually needed from that. Was just a blizz. But, hey. You know, whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's break this guy. Put down our matter transmitter. And I did, luckily, bring a Tesseract with me. So we'll put that here. And set this. Energy receive only. There we go. This thing should start charging up. And there we go. Now, actually, this wouldn't be a terrible place to go mining, just because you can see all the way down in so many places. But I can't say I like this terrain gen. Um, I don't think this would be a great place to build stuff or anything like that, but we got our blizz and that was the important thing. So let's go ahead and head back home. Ooh. Um, you know what? I may have, I, I, I probably should have brought a dialing device with me. bother. Okay, let's look at the dialing device. What's this thing require? Redstone, machine frame. Okay. Actually, that I, I think that should be gettable. Let me go gather some resources, guys. I'll be back with you in a sec. Alright, guys, I am back, and I was doing a little bit of mining, and I forgot. In other dimensions, you can get these dimensional shards, which you actually need for some of the more advanced stuff when it comes to dimension building and things like that. So that's pretty cool. It's actually probably a good thing that I'm doing some mining here. I would have totally forgotten about that. Um, but I really need to find myself some redstone and some lapis so I can get home. So I'm going to keep looking and I'll come back to you in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. And with that, I think I have everything I need now to go ahead and make the stuff to get me out of here. So, let's make a crafting bench real quick. And we want... Uh, actually, I'm going to need a couple of redstone torches. Let's just make a few of those. Was, was that enough redstone? Did I get enough redstone? Ooh, maybe not. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I have enough redstone. Uh, okay. So, let's see. First thing we got to make is the machine frame. So let's, oh, hey you, come back. Let's make one of those. And then, there we go. We got ourselves the, the dialing device so we can fix our little mishap and head back to the surface. All right, guys, we got the dialing device in place. Everything should be good. And I think it is time to head home. Just in case, I'm gonna save some of this stuff, but I think we're good. Start teleportation. 
Are we home? We're home! We made it. Okay, so that actually worked. We got everything we needed, and we made it home safely. Barely. We barely made it home safely, but we did. So, that is good. Now, uh, we got ourselves a blizz, so I'm thinking we should probably set ourselves up a blizz farm, because I do need blizzes for some things. Uh, specifically blizz rods, but uh, that's not what I meant to grab. That's what I meant to grab. There we go. Uh, what was I... I forget what I went in here for. Anyway, either way, the next thing that I want to make is I want to make bedrockium. Oh, I remember. I was grabbing my bread. That's why I was going into my thing. Here we go. All right, so I want to make a bedrockium drum. Uh, before we can do that, we need to make bedrockium ingots, and bedrockium ingots are made using blocks of diamond and triple compressed cobble. So we're going to make a bunch of blocks of diamond, and then we should have a fair amount of compressed cobble as well. Yeah, look at that. We got tons of it. So let's just go ahead and make a few stacks. There we go. And let's go ahead and make some bedrockium ingots. Now, the bedrockium drums are pretty fantastic because they hold a ridiculous amount of stuff. It's like... 65 million of whatever it is. That's pretty good. That That's really good, in fact. Uh, so, let's go ahead and make a bedrockium drum. There we go. And then we are going to take our mob essence drums and our, if I can type, fluid conduits. Here we go. And we are going to dump all of those into this drum. So we'll put Bedrockium drum there. We'll put these guys all along here. Wow, I actually don't have enough space for all of them. I've got a lot of these. So let's do this. There we go. And Bedrockium drum there. And then we'll just take all of these fluid conduits and run them all into this guy. And then I gotta go through and change them all to extract, always. All right, and there we go. Those are all draining into this one bedrockium drum. So that's working out. Now, the next thing we need to make is the auto spawner from Mine Factory Reloaded. Oh, by the way, also this was a spruce farm. I changed it to rubber trees because I've got like 74,000 spruce and I figured that was probably enough. Anyway, so, auto spawner. That is this guy right here. We're gonna have to make one of these and looks like I already have all the stuff for it. So that should be good and basically what this thing needs is power and mob essence. All of which we should be able to get pretty easily. Uh, let's go ahead and make a few more fluid conduits. Um... Let's actually make some of these pressurized ones. Ooh, I'm running very low on quartz, on fused quartz. This should be enough, though. I think that'll be good. The difference is that uh, pressurized ones don't have any issues sending liquid upwards, whereas regular ones kind of don't like to do that. Uh, okay, so that's good. And then we need an energy... The... Energy conduits. Do I have them on me? I do. Okay, we're good there. And then I just need a Tesseract and a chest, I think, should do the trick. So, for the time being, I'm thinking I am going to... Do I want to use this room? I really don't. This will spawn mobs in a 7x7 seven seven area. So, we've got a couple options. How are these things doing? They're getting there. I think our best bet is, honestly, to probably just make another grinder. Like so. And just do it that way. Yeah, that's probably our best bet. Okay, 
So, 7x7 seven seven area. We could make it here. Um, but I think what I want to do is I want to go... Actually, that was a bad idea. Unless I have more elevators. Do I have any more elevators? Elevate? Nope, I don't. Okay. And fireworks! Man, they're going off everywhere. That's the downside of this time of year in the U.S. Everyone wants to shoot off, a fi uh, shoot off fireworks, and it's like, okay, fine, I suppose. America, you know, but at the same time, it's like, I want to record videos and things. So let's just go down... Eh, yeah, about that far. Should be good. We'll go one more. There we go. There's not really any particular, like, amount. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Put that there. And then this here. There we go. That's better. Okay. And then I'm just gonna hollow out a little space. We'll plop down a torch. That should be good. This is going to be our grinder right here. Oop. There we go. So let's just kind of do something like that. And I need a seven by seven area for this. So we'll say, mm -hmm. oh, hello, Lapis. I'll take it. I'll take it all. Why not? Okay, let's fill that back in. So we'll say this right here will be the grinder. Is that about right? Eh, actually, let's go back two more, I think. Yeah, we'll say that's the grinder right there. So then here. And this should be a 7x7 seven seven area, which I believe is also the killing range of the grinder. So it works out pretty well, I believe. I'm I'm mostly sure that's the killing range of the grinder. Let's put a grinder right here. And just double check. No, no, the killing range of the grinder is actually five by five. Okay. Good to know. So in that case, these will be our walls and we'll just have a little area right here where everything will spawn. Glad I checked that, because that would have been very bad. Okay, anyway, so let's see what we have here for blocks. Um, I chopped down this sacred oak wood at one point, and it's really kind of a cool block. So maybe we'll make our background block out of this. I mean, it seems that 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 was horrible, horrible placement on my part. There we go. And then we'll do this. And that should work. Because uh, nothing should be able to spawn farther away than that. Like that, that should be fine. Uh, and we'll put more of it right here and here. And there shouldn't be any open areas around this where stuff can spawn, so it should be fine. Then let's go ahead and tear up our ceilings as well, because obviously we want to do at least something with the ceiling, otherwise it's going to look really bad. So that's all good. We'll tear this up, tear that up this and this like so and I guess I guess we'll probably put the sacred oak in here as well might as well I just said well like three times that was it's funny how you speak sometimes when you're like just kind of forcing yourself to speak no that's a, that's a bad way of saying it when you're not really necessarily thinking about every word that you're saying, it's funny how sometimes you say things that you're like, oh, that sounded kind of funky. Uh, but that works, I think. I think that's good. And then we'll go ahead and grab something else. We definitely need a floor in here of some sort. And we need to wire up all of this stuff as well, because... 
Obviously, there's going to be some technical bits, some wiring and things like that. You guys probably can't see anything right now, so I'm very sorry for that. Let me put up a torch for you. There you go. And we'll put a torch up over there as well. This is where the grinder is going to go, so I'm just kind of marking that. We'll put a pressurized fluid conduit that kind of leads out this way. And... Let's fill that in. There we go. We want that to be the auto spawner. And we want to say this insert. So any, if it can, hmm, actually, yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine because the other one will be set to extract think right yeah yeah it should be good all right we'll put a chest here this guy can go away and then we'll put a pressurized one here so that should be good oh but i need i need a way to here's what we'll do here's what we'll do let me grab my wrench we will disable that. We'll put this to here. And then we'll put this here and change this to extract always. And then this is where the bedrockium drum is going to go. So that is the plan, at least. Okay, so that's good. Now I need power as well. So let's just run that over here. And where do we want to put our Tesseract? Probably right about here is what I'm thinking. I'm going to leave this thing alone for the moment. Actually, let's say energy mode receive. Fluid send. Uh, wait, fluid blocked. Items send, energy, receive. Okay, so that should be good. This thing should be getting power. This thing should also be getting power, which is good. This thing won't start spawning anything yet because we've got... Uh, it doesn't have any mob essence. So that's all good. Now for a floor and stuff like that. Let's see what materials we have, and a lot of this stuff I can just kind of put away for good. So, as far as materials go, it is a Blizz spawner. Do I have any sort of ice of any kind? I don't think so. I didn't, yeah, I didn't think that was the case. I mean, we could do it with diamond blocks, but that's, that seems a little silly. Silver, though. Silver might actually look kind of good. Or... White? Ooh! Maybe we just do something real simple and we go, like... White cobble. That might work. And it would kind of match this as well. Yeah, let's do that! Ooh! Hey, come back, you. There we go. So let's go... White cobblestone which was this I believe yeah there we go and let's just make a couple stacks of that and then we're gonna need one two three four five six seven conduit facades as well so let's grab some of those and those are not painted which is good um, is this our block painter right here? I don't think so. Where is my block painter? I'm not even sure. Is it in here? Yeah, I see it. Okay, cool. So let's go seven of these guys. Put those in there. We'll let those get going while I'm taking a sleep. And then I'll get the work done on the floor and come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. I think everything's ready. One thing I almost forgot about is that I can actually... Oh, 
Um, extract always. I want this thing. There we go. So what I want to do is I actually want to send the fluid from here directly into this Tesseract, and we'll say fluid send. So any mob essence from here is going to go into this Tesseract and be able to be picked up right here, which is pretty cool. So if I put this mob barrel right here, this thing is going to start spawning. Other than the fact that there's no actual spawn egg or a uh, safari net in there right now. So I'm not going to do it just yet, but we will very, very soon. So let's see. Let's make sure that all of this is good. It should be. Yep. Okay. That's all good. That's all the way we want it. We'll put that back. We'll put our conduit facades on here. Like so. And we can actually... Oh. Come back, you. We can put that one there as well. And then... Ooh. Ooh. Um... Well... Yeah, that should be fine. I... Mm. Maybe we take... Uh, I know we do. We get rid of that conduit facade and put it here instead. Because this one isn't even going to be visible. So that'll totally work. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. So then we will fill all of this in with this cobble white stone stuff. Grab our builder's wand. And once again, build that across the ceiling over here. So this should be the only area where stuff can spawn. We'll take cobble white stone again. Oh, those are conduit facades, so they're not actually visible. There we go. That'll do. We'll put this guy here. And then I just need my safari net with the blizz in it. We'll throw that guy in here. Spawn exact copy, no. I need an item uh, conduit. Oh, I saw it. There they are. Put that here. Extract always. Insert. So basically any items that go into this chest will be sent into the Tesseract. Then we've got all of this stuff ready to go as well. And we should be able to basically just put our bedrockium drum right here and start seeing stuff spawn. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. We're going to put this quite clear glass here so you can actually see. And let's test it out. Uh, although I probably need to change this to extract always. There we go. And now... Yep, it's working. It's working. This is good. And we should see bla uh, blizzes in here, or blizz drops in here. Oh, there we go. We got blizz rods. So we've got ourselves a source of blizzes. Fantastic. So, guys, we got into RF tools. We did some dimension building. And we got ourselves a super awesome blizz farm set up in here as well. But that is all that I have time for in this episode, guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.